What is going on guys? Welcome back to Watch Dogs Legion. That's one way to enter the game back. Right, so, um, I don't know what we're doing this episode yet. Um, obviously you guys will know by the title. Uh, I have not got an idea. Okay, we're gonna go do a main mission. Okay, we're gonna continue with the main missions. Alrighty. Alright, um, I think what we're gonna do, first things first, is we're gonna switch up our gadget. Uh, we're gonna go Super Spy. Spy. And... Press X. Switch it out. Switch up to somebody new. Well, we haven't used this guy a lot, um, so I feel like using him a bit more. Good news, it's time to put your life on the line for the resistance. Ah, good. You see, could you forgot about me? Alrighty, we're gonna use a spy car. I've got missiles on this thing as well. Damn. Here's James Bond. car's actually uh, quite nice to drive. One of those cars which is nice to drive. Is that clunking him, him changing gear or? Might need to get that looked at, it's a little bit clunky. Yeah, definitely him changing gear. I think he didn't get that gearbox looked at. Every time he changes gear, he just, uh, the controller vibrates. Radio. Um, I'm just trying to remember what happened in the last episode. It's a new day. Um, I got finished recording that last episode really late at night. Uh, I think we just rescued that um, the detective I think if I remember rightly I know where we are I've been here hold on is that parliament there behind us yeah it is I know exactly where I am then. Uh, I can't remember which street I've walked up. I've just realised exactly where we are. <laughs> well, well, it's only taken me what? Ten episodes to realise that our home base is right next to Parliament? <sighs> oh, that's right. Yeah, we need to go back to the... Um, back into this place to, uh, to have a meeting, right? about what our next plan is. Let's head on in. Let's do the meeting. I remember what's going on now. It's only taken me, what, a few minutes to realise what we're here for? <laughs> oh well. I've just realised I'm recording Friday's episode and uh, after today well, hopefully, my new controller should arrive between this I've heard from and Inspector the next. Lau. We're ready for the briefing. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm. Re I'm really excited for the new controller. It's just, it's on its way. It's just it's taking time. It should be here before the next recording sesh, which is good. Well, yes. There we go. We've got plenty of people in here now. All right, let's uh, start up the briefing. Kelly heads up the most powerful crime family in London, Clan Kelly, which should at least be easy to remember. Under her old man, they were a bit player. Then he died, and her rival started disappearing. Her enemies, her friends, her family. They call her Bloody Mary for a reason. Early on, Mary abandoned cash in favor of cryptocurrency and brought the Kelly's criminal business online. It makes weapons smuggling, drug running, money laundering all a lot easier without a cash trail. The woman single-handedly modernized organized crime in London. She considers herself to be untouchable. Case in point, from my files you retrieved. Darla Covington, 19. Sasha Haddad, 28. Radek Stokkovich, 24. All disappeared. It's difficult to find good help these days, isn't it, love? Most people, they ain't driven. Not like you. 
Because they feel worthless, don't they? The way that the world is, how it uses people. It's horrible. It's nice that you have a purpose. Oh, that'll be me, love. If we aren't finished here, this was a courtesy. Oh, give my regards to their families. It's horrible losing someone you love. Nice meeting you, Caitlin. As you can see, she'll never respond to interrogation. But there is one place she feels comfortable talking, the Sandstone Residence. Inspector Lau thinks a police bug in the Kelly's headquarters may have the evidence she needs to finally convict Bloody Mary. Sandstone is their center of operations. I know the data on that bug will take her down. Get it for me, and I swear I'll put her away forever. Pushing the coordinates to your optics. Thank you, Bagley. Alrighty, so we're gonna go take down... Sabine here, Inspector Lau. I'm curious how you think you can bring Mary Kelly to justice now, with no backing. Even before Albion took over policing, you couldn't lock her up. And she goes on treating humans like cattle. I had to work within the system. Yes, it was corrupt. I knew it. I just didn't know how bad it was. I thought a strong enough case couldn't be buried. Sure, but it didn't work last time, so why would it work this time? The police force is full of Albion knobs now. Because I'm taking it to a contact in the Attorney General's office. An honest solicitor with a hard-on for organized crime, specifically for Mary Kelly. Look, our methods may differ. But I want to help those people as much as you do. All right. But however this goes down, there's no way we're letting Mary slip the net again. That's not how DedSec does things. Let's get to Sandstone. Alrighty, so um, I'm just going to check up on, um, on this quickly. I just want to see if we've got anything new. We've got new masks. Okay, so he's currently got the gas mask. That's way too white for him. Um, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just keep that up a minute. I just wanted to see what masks we had. Um, all right, let's uh, head on out. We'll um, we will figure out where the hell we're going. I'm gonna go grab that little um, the little bug thing, which hopefully has conversation on it, which. Uh, well, we'll hopefully put this uh, Mary Kelly in, well, take her off the streets anyway. I was going to say put her in prison, but it'll take her off the streets. Can we just not, like, capture her and just put her in some dark, quiet basement somewhere? <laughs> Girlfriend of an First he's been messing with their drones so that they can't control them. Just just take a deep breath. Okay, so that's a girlfriend of an operative. Does it tell you which one? Um, no, it doesn't really tell you. I don't know which one she'll be the girlfriend of. Oh, hold on, wrong button. Like, which one would she be the girlfriend of? This guy? This guy? This guy? I don't know. Maybe he's... She has a girlfriend? I don't know. All right. Uh, let's pull up the map. Yeah, we've got like um, we've got a few people kicking about. We've got one guy over here. Um, I think that's the only person on the map currently who we can recruit. All right. Well, we'll go up here. Well, I, <laughs> I can't actually. There we go. Uh, okay, so we're going into a new area. Um, 
I guess um, what we'll do uh, next episode, we'll go do a couple more. Um, uh, what's it called? And uh, the audio is uh, not working properly on this car. That's all right. We can uh, get in there a bit quieter. It's nice. So I hope everybody's had a good week. Um, hope everybody's. Uh, Staying safe out there and everything, and wow, the brakes on this thing suck. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I think I'm recording this at the end of the week. What, what day is it? Thursday, I think. Uh, so, yeah, it's when this goes up, it's uh, just over a week away. Um. Hopefully by then I would definitely 100% have my new control because this control is, uh, yeah, it's really starting to annoy me. Really starting to. The whole dead zone thing. Well, it's, it's not like it has a dead zone. It's just the the controller. Um, the thumbsticks are just completely. Completely done. Um, uh, okay, so we need to enter the residence. Okay, can we just enter here? Nope. Alright, my question is how we're getting in. Do I need to switch operatives by any chance? Security here is state of the art. Quite impenetrable. Unless, of course, you flew a drone through the window, one of Mary's mouth breathers left open. Why that drone's here? All right, through the window we go. The recording device is in her security room. Getting there should be a simple matter of navigating the vents. What the fuck? She's using these people as house servants against their will. Horrible in itself, but a million times worse knowing they end up as unwilling organ donors. Yep. Warren. Anything in here of interest? We have a real fucking attitude problem. Do you know that? Please. I need help. <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot. Do you piss everyone off the way you're pissing me off, you wanker? <laughs> Stupid git. Sounds nice. Right, where are we going? Um, not exactly sure. Out of range. Up here, maybe? I'm not 100%. Let's find out. Here That's we go. It. Let's see what kind of recording we've got on her. Kidoki. Yeah, we need to just look at this place. This is what comes of old crooked money. The Kelly family has been profiting from people's misery for a long time. She's got this shit all over the manor. So you've been in there before. Is that how you ended up in the basement of the Southwark incinerator? We needed something incriminating. So we decided someone had to get in here and plant a bug. I wasn't going to assign someone else to do that. You saw how Mary uses the people she grabs out of the EPC. And the staff's uniform's not hard to mimic, so I went in. What I didn't know was that she had intel on our investigation. My team. I thought going off book would stop the leaks, but she still knew we were coming. She tortured me for the names of my team. Tried to break me, but cops don't give up cops. Turned out she already knew the whole unit and put hits out on them. <laughs> the woman is a mind fucker. Shit. Well, at least you don't have a microchip in you. Bitch knew who she was dealing with. Did never a bow to her. That's how I ended up on that butcher's table. So many reasons to want to rid the world of her, but it wouldn't be enough to just put one in her brain. My mates died trying to bring her to justice. I have to honor that. Okay, there's that one. 
on one side done anyway. Uh, I am also trying to stay quiet while those cutscenes are on. I just I don't interrupt them. Uh, unlock that one. Uh, that one. Okay, can get that one to go down here. We can now unlock this one. Turn that T that way. Then unlocks that one, which means those T's are now done. Right, let's do this side first if we can. That's it, we're in. There we go. Got it. Holy shit. Oh, look at the state of you. Look what you've done to yourself. After everything I've done for you. You made me a slave. All of us. Please. Let me go. Take this thing out. Back to your old life. Back to nothing. Back to you. 2.5 screaming blighters in your dead end job and sucking off the dough. You don't want that, love. This microchip is scary, I know, but I've got to keep tracks on my merchandise, don't I? And this kitchen knife, that won't do it, love. Cutting yourself affects my bottom line. You walk. I can't live like this anymore. No. You are right there. It's all right, sweetheart, because I have another use for you. Attention, are we? Good. Be sure and spread the word. You know where this one goes. Get these two and all the others over to their venue and ready for the sale. Right away, ma'am. Also, the foreign investors have already landed and the drones are programmed, ready to deliver the invitations and the coordinates to all the guests. Mmm, it's that initiative I'm smelling, Peter. Initiative can be a dangerous thing can be misinterpreted. For fuck's sake. So she's always... So she's doubling in human this trafficking too. How did Mary get her hands on this kind of tech? It takes a sick mind to come up with killer microchips. Perhaps a diseased mind, but definitely an ingenious one. Perfect psych profile for a group like Zero Day, wouldn't you say? Her affiliations aren't my priority, Bagley. She's keeping these people enslaved. And it sounds as if she's selling them. This is huge. Fuck! This is a dystopian nightmare, right? Whether you toe the line as a slave or zap, she triggers that microchip and you're a pile of spare parts. Dead sec. We'll have to crash that slave auction. Get all the information we can out of there. The location will be on the invitations. She hasn't sent out the invitation yet, but when she does... Bagley, monitor the drone networks. Give us a heads up when Mary sends out her fleet. Until then, I reckon we're in a holding pattern. All I'll right. get in touch if I hear about anything else that might interest you. Cheers, dead sec. <sighs> so, I'm pretty sure we've, like, in previous watchdogs, I'm sure there was a, um, um, like an uh, like a slave auction. Shite, that was banging. Think I'm getting this dead sec thing. You wouldn't have been recruited if dead sec thought you'd be killed that easily. <laughs> right, you running some cheeky beta program, Bagley? Don't pay too much attention to Bagley's comments. Excellent job. Since we're waiting for our cordial invitation to Mary Kelly's tasteless theme party, we can finally get back to what really matters: solving the mystery of Zero Day. 
Who are they? And why did they frame DedSec for the bombings? Bagley, what have we got? Glad you asked. Today, the great AI detective has two leads for his dog's body politic. Obviously, Albion needs looking into, but I also have a more unusual thread for you to pull on. There's a new hacktivist group on the dark web scene called the 404. But instead of being in it for the lulls, this lot seems to be in it for the brutal reshaping of society by any means necessary. Sound like anyone you know? All right. I've got some options then. I've marked both on your optic. Alrighty, so it looks like we've got a couple of missions here. All right, we'll just stop here for a second. I'll pull up a mission and figure out where we're going to go. Uh, okay, so we've got the 404. Yeah, let's, uh, let's investigate the 404. Why not? Alright, where are you guys on my hood? I need to come out, don't I? So has to go through this little bit. Bonding. There we are. This is 404, the first peer-to-peer -peer hacktivist network. All are welcome. If you want to make a difference, join us. We're taking down the elite, one contract at a time. Found that on the dark web. Looks like all the cool kids are forming hacker groups these days. But this 404 might actually come in handy in our fight. If all are welcome, that means we are too. I say we infiltrate 404, we get their connections, we get their assets. If you play nice, they might even help you take out Zero Day. For that matter, maybe they are Zero Day. Only one way to find out. I found Street View images of a CTOS hub that's been covered in 404 graffiti. They're marking their territory like an overexcited chihuahua. <laughs> Dropping the location of the hub on your map. Thank you, Bagley. It's about time. Alright, so where are we going? We're going up into Camden. Probably in the legal Got a potential recruit for you. I'll mark them on your map. All right, so we are definitely getting more and more recruits uh, marked on the map. Uh, I think we might need to look into some of those uh, next episode as well. I don't know if they just like randomly pop up because we're in the area, or like after a certain period of time they uh, just decide to pop up. Not hundred percent sure on that, but. Uh, I think we'll definitely do another recruitment episode soon. Probably next week at some point. Then we'll see what 404 is all about this episode though I think. Or at least get uh, infiltrate them a little bit. Somewhere here on the right. I don't think there's no better person than the spy to do this. Alright, I think there's a little uh, passageway here somewhere. No. So where the hell do we need to be? Okay, this is not helping. Right, I might need to hack a drone. Have a look. Nope, can't hack that one. Excuse me, coming through. Drone will do. Have a look. Really? Getting handsy. Wow, okay, so we ran all the way around just to come through here. Located the CTOS hub. Yep. Let's access it. Deploying root kit. Been deploying loads of root kits recently. If you were listening to this, it means you want to learn more about 404. Know what we know. Do what we do. Make your way to the Walkie Talkie Club. It's no big secret that the club is a front for Clan Kelly, but the place has all the secrets too. More will be revealed there. The hub just dumped a massive load of data into your optic. How forward? Okay, 404 makes it pretty easy for, uh, for anybody to get a mass intel. Okay, so we're going to the walkie talkie. This episode's um, got a lot of driving involved. So we've got to um, come all the way up to Camden to go all the way back, uh, back down to the walkie talkie. Alright. 
quite far away. This might be the most driving we've done in one episode, maybe. Eh, maybe it's not. Not 100% sure on that one. It's nice to find out who 4 or 4 are, though. And that we're back on our main mission. So it looks like there's like two main missions. We've got the one with Clan Kelly. And then we've got the secondary one. Which is, um... The people who framed us. Actually, yeah, it's a very nice car to drive. I'm gonna say it's a shame we haven't used any of the rockets or anything yet. Hasn't been a lot of um, like blowing up action. Seems a uh, this game seems a lot like drive here, do this, sneak about. By now, you must have reached 20 Fenchurch Street. The Walkie Talkie Club is located at the top of the building. Lift access only. Okay. Going up. We're at the Walkie Talkie. I've never been anywhere near the Walkie Talkie in real life. There's a lot of London I haven't seen as well. Um, I like to go experience it a little bit more. Out you of have arrived time. at the Walkie Talkie Club, where those with more money than sense come to lose both. The yep, Walkie Talkie Club is frequented by all manner of crooked elites, and the owners, Clan Kelly, have an AI in place to collect blackmail materially. Find that AI, and let's see for ourselves what these corrupt scumbags have to hide. Okay, so first things first, uh, let's play out a spider bot. Probably going to get copyright strike for the music, but. Hopefully going in here. We'll get rid of the music a bit. So if you guys didn't know, we've been in here before. Uh, I wanted to open up this one. There we go. Now this is where I remember that we... Uh, We've still got the um, the key card for the door, <laughs> so we could have just walked straight through the door. So it seems like they use these places more than once. No, we couldn't have opened up the door. All right, this is where we're uh, jacking into. Well, you worked hard and persevered, and now we have nothing. The AI is not actually here, just a relay sending the club's data off-site. I'll find where it's all going, and you find a way out of this loud, obnoxious sweat hole. Deal? Deal. Okay. Hey there, bro. Alright, we're getting out. So, that was like the quickest, like, walkie-talkie experience ever. <laughs> Get in, get out. We're there all of what? A couple minutes? Yeah. I think we spent more time in the loading screens. I've done some digging and it looks like the facial recognition AI was created by BrokerTech. Broker Tech? They're one of the biggest software companies on the planet. Always keep their noses clean too. If they're buying blackmail material from the Kellys, that's big news. Everything the AI is collecting here is being sent directly to BrokerTech HQ. We have to go there to get the data. Alrighty, so I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm actually going to end this one right here. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one. Uh, if you guys have, uh, hit that like button. If you haven't, there's always a dislike button right next to it. If you guys haven't hit that subscribe button already, hit subscribe. Ring the little bell to be notified when I next upload. And I will catch you guys all in the next one.
<laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Porky? <laughs>